Well, Carolyn, what is a bigger heartbreak for you? Not winning tonight or not getting on that second chance bus? Well, I think not winning is probably number one. And a close second is not getting on that second chance bus. What did you have packed in that backpack? What were you taking with you to uh, Cambodia had you been given the opportunity? Well, in my backpack I had uh, low shoes so I could play the game um, and, you know, just my head was in the game, I was ready to go and I'm still here. So thinking about finale night and not winning the million dollars, coming into it though, did you think you had a real shot? Oh yeah, I, I, I honestly thought it was going to be close. I thought it was going to be a lot, a lot closer than it was tonight. So is there any level of offense that Will got the same number of votes that you did? Well, I think I played a very different game than Will. I think I made strategic moves. I think I won immunity challenges, so I think I should have gotten more votes. Absolutely. All right, so walk us through getting to that final four. A fire challenge happens, and you see Rodney spike a flame before you. That had to be crazy. My heart was palpitating. I'm like, oh my God, if I don't get this thing moving, I'm going home on day 38. That's like, you want to slit your wrists. <laughs> so um, I just was like, focus, Carolyn, focus. And then literally like two seconds later, I got a flame. I'm like, okay, I'm not panicking. I know what to do once I get a flame. Build, 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 build. And that's what I did. So why not align yourself with Mike earlier in the game? Mike was um, trying to align with too many people. I aligned with him actually at the merge and we were together. But Mike is an alpha male. I'm also kind of an alpha female. You didn't actually see that as much, but because I was trying to tone it down. Like when, before I left, my kids were like, Mom, you need to tone it down. So I was trying to make sure that I didn't come across crazy. Um, and Mike just was like always trying to call the shots. And, and so he was kind of turning people off that way. So at the merge, I went with the blue collars, but we were kind of forming this other alliance within the alliance. And when he heard us and he went crazy that day, I was like, okay, we need to really get rid of him because he's going off the deep end. So until that point, until the orphanage challenge, he was still in the other alliance. At the orphanage uh, reward, I left both sides open. Okay, interesting. So you were also embracing the Mama C title. Where did that come from? Was that was that self-titled? Tyler. Tyler, and why? Day like two or three. You know, I'm the I'm the old lady on the on the tribe, so I was the Mama C. And talking about Tyler, the two of you seem like potential endgame allies, but you took an opportunity to take him out of the game. Looking back, was that still the right choice? It was the right choice. I mean, if I sat with him at the final, he would win. So he was an ally. He's still my best friend, but had to. he had to go. Somebody else that was a huge part of this season was Shireen, and you spent a lot of time with her. Explain to people what living with Shireen was like. You had to listen to her talk about watching sex with monkeys and things like that. What did we not see about Shireen? Shireen is a gamer and she is eccentric. And so, you know, when you go on Survivor, we all have our view of, you know, what we are all about, who we want to hang out with. And so, I think people just need to open up to there's variety, there's differences. You might not think monkey sex is that big a deal. Maybe someone does. And just embrace it. But Shireen knows everything there is to know about that game. And when she's out there now, we'll see how that plays on uh, Second Chances. And a big thing for you at the very beginning, you found an idol just by watching what So and Joaquin were doing. What was that like, stumbling on the idol? I don't know if it was stumbling. Um, I knew I was going looking for the idol. I knew they had the clue. And you just have to 
be aware and figure it out quickly. Now, did Dan know, I'm sorry, I'm flip-flopping around, but did Dan know that you guys were aware of his advantage? Um, I think he know he knew that somebody went through his bag because when Tyler went through the bag, he didn't put the thing back the way he found it. So, yeah. Busted. But who keeps an advantage in their bag? I had an idol from the first episode, and it was hidden throughout the entire time. You could go through my bag a hundred times over; you were never going to see anything in there. So, how did you land on Survivor? I tried out for Survivor for four years, um, non-stop. I've been watching it since season one. The show was made for me. And if you got another chance, not this time around, but when if you did. When I get another chance, I'm definitely going. What would you do differently? I would focus on building a little bit more of the social game and the relationships because I thought I did enough of that, but I don't think, clearly, I didn't. So that's what I would focus on. All right. Well, it was an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you.